will see here fardel of electrolysis so a, a metal wire carries a current of 2 ampere how many electrons uh, pass a point in wire in one second okay so here we will write that is a total a uh, charge passed total charge passed that is how much q is there the q is equal to i into t and here i is given here how much 2 ampere and second time is 1 so it will give you a uh, 2 coulomb and now we know that uh, 1 faraday so 1 faraday is equal to nothing but the 96500 coulomb and which will carry 1 moles of electron 1 moles of electron means 6.023 into 10 to the power 20 3 electrons so for 2 coulomb how much it will carry so for 2 coulomb it will carry here uh, 1 divided by 96500 uh, this will be total moles and multiplied by 2 this will give you charge so on dividing you will get here 12.48 into 10 to the power uh, 18 electrons so this is the basically our answer this much electrons will pass uh, a point in a wire in one second so this is question number one now question number two find the charge in coulomb on one gram ion of nitride so first we will find one gram atom is one mole of atom so first we will find one one ion of nitride ion so one atom ion ion carries how many charge so it will carry this charge so we can write here it has three negative charge so we can write here three negative means three uh, electrons so uh, you can write a total charge three into 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb because a uh, charge for one coulomb is this much coulomb one electron this much coulomb okay so for they are asking uh, one gram one mole so for one mole what we are so for uh, one gram ion one gram ion it is nothing but the one mole so again for the one mole is 3 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 and multiplied by the Avogadro number. So Avogadro number is 6.023 into 10 to the power uh, 23. So we will get answer here uh, 2.89 into 10 to the power 5 coulomb. So this is basically our answer. How long would, uh, would it take to deploy 100 gram of aluminium from an electrolytic cell containing Al2O3 using a current of 125 ampere? so here we have to find out time okay so in this time this aluminium is going to deposit from the uh, this much gram aluminium deposit from the electrolytic cells okay where it will deposit on the electrode so if you pass 125 uh, uh, amperes so how much it will uh, how much time to deposit this much so we will apply again for the law of electrolysis uh, so again uh, for aluminium how much aluminium is this aluminium is al2o3 al2o3 means so we can write here al3 plus charge and there is two moles of aluminium so it will converting into al okay so for per aluminium we it will gain two electrons so it requires how many electrons six electrons is required. then it will get two moles of aluminium so we have to find the our actually our formula is the uh, mass of the aluminium deposited is equal to equal to e into i into uh, t divided by 96500 so we know i we know t so we require here 96500 t we need to find out so how we find out aluminium e electro sorry, equivalent of aluminium will be uh, molar mass divided by uh, 3 that is equal to 9 equivalent so we can solve here so this is 9 here you can put directly value here 9 so 9 into so i we know that i, I is given here 125 ampere 125 where time we don't know and divide by 96500 and this is equal to mass is deposited here 100 so clearly we, if you solve it we will get answer 8577.77 seconds so this much time it will take to deposit on the electron by the uh, during electrolytic cells now let us see question number fourth so how much uh, current is the, uh, necessary to produce hydrogen gas at the rate of 1 ml per second at NTB condition so here we are producing hydrogen gas okay and rate is 1 ml per second so definitely uh, one first to find it uh, for 1 ml is how much equivalent so 1 mole of hydrogen is equal to uh, 2200 400 to 2400 ml so if you take one equivalent of hydrogen one week equivalent of hydrogen so it will be 11200 ml okay um, now this is equal to how much charge? this is equal to 96500 coulomb okay so this is the one equivalent equal to one faraday one equivalent of hydrogen equal to one faraday so here uh, for one ml of hydrogen so for one ml of hydrogen we required total faraday that is uh, 96500 divided by 11200 so we will get the answer 8.6 uh, coulomb okay now we required what q so q is equal to i into 
T. So because they are asking uh, how much current. So Q is this much. So again Q is uh, total Q is 8.616 and I is we need to find out and time is 1. So I equal, equal to will be your 8.616 ampere. So this is basically our answer. 200 watt 110 uh, volt incandescent lamp is corrected in series with an electrolytic cells of negligible resistance containing a solution of zinc chloride okay so what mass of zinc will be deposited from the solution on passing current for 30 minutes and the boiler mass of zinc is given here so first we will find the ampere so what is the ampere total current is so ampere is nothing but the power by volt so this will be getting 200 by 110 and now one more thing is that we have to find out the mass of the deposition we have to write the formula first so e equal to this is the further of uh, further law of electrolysis so e into i into t and divided by e by f this is faraday so here uh, so faraday means e into n into f n is the number of moles of electron into faraday so again here zinc is using what two electrons zinc is becoming here zinc so zinc charge it will take two electrons so here n is equal to n is equal to two okay just we put this value so if you put this value we will get here uh, mass of the uh, zinc deposited so mass of the zinc deposited is right here and here uh, it will be a molar mass of the this one uh, uh, zinc will be of 65.5 right here 65.4 by 2 so this will give you equivalent mass there is no need to write you n and i is given here uh, uh, 200 divided by 110 so this is i already given here and again we require here 30 minutes so 30 minutes will do 30 into 60 and divide by 96500 okay so here we will get answers that is 1.109 gram so this is basically our answer so here cadmium amalgam is prepared by electrolysis of a solution of cadmium chloride Using a mercury cathode, and how long should a current of 5 ampere is passed in order to prepare 12% of cadmium mercury amalgam on a cathode of 2 gram mercury? So here the cathode is 2 gram mercury. Here it is deposited. Uh, cadmium is prepared. So how much it will take to deposit on the 2 gram mercury? So here we have to find out the time. So first you write here before 18 gram of mercury, which has uh, 12 gram of cadmium. Okay, which have 12 gram of so 48 from you can see we have to prepare 12 percent. 12 percent cadmium means uh, 12 gram cadmium from 88 gram of uh, mercury. So, for 2 gram of mercury, how much should cadmium should have? So, we can multiply here uh, 12, uh, 12 into 2 divided by 88. So, this much gram of cadmium is there. Okay, and now we know that very well. So, cadmium 2 plus it will convert into cadmium so it will require two electrons okay so that was that's why is equivalent mass of the cadmium will be 112.4 by 2 okay so now we can uh, directly use the formula of so the formula is m is equal to e into i into uh, t divided by 96500 so e is given here 112.4 by 2 and uh, i is given here a uh, 5 ampere so right here 5 time we require and here divided by 96500 so a mass is given here so how much mass is given there so mass is given here uh, 12 into 2 divided by 88 if we solve it so we require only t so t is equal to 93.66 second so this time is required to deposit the uh, 2 gram cadmium on the cadmium mercury amalgam a 3 ampere current was passed through an aqua solution of unknown salt of palladium for one hour and 2.977 gram of palladium n plus was deposited at cat at cathode so find n so again uh, for reduction we know that for reduction uh, uh, palladium n so palladium will give you n into electron into it will give you palladium so n into e means this will be n plus uh, now equivalent of uh, palladium is uh, m by e that is equal to that is equal to how much uh, we can write here i into uh, t divided by 96500 so here equivalent of m by e will be how much so deposited here 2.97 grams so uh, 2.977 and e is equal to how much so 106.4 by n this is equal to uh, 3 into 1 into 60 into 60 so this will be total seconds and divided by 96000 500 so on solving we will get here so we got this value so n equal to 4 so this is an integer so we require 
are four moles of electrons which will convert palladium ion into palladium it will deposit on the cathode calculate the quantity of electricity that will be required to liberate 710 gram of chlorine by electrolyzing a concentrated solution of sodium chloride what mass of sodium hydroxide and what volume hydrogen at 27 degree centigrade and one atmospheric pressure is obtained during this process so we have to find two cases what is uh, sodium hydroxide a second is volume hydrogen okay so here so write the two equations one equation is uh, Cl will convert into Cl2 gas and it will lose two electrons. Uh, second is S plus will take here electrons, it will give you S2 gas. So here we require two S plus and two electrons. Okay, so we can use here uh, what mass of sodium hydroxide and what volume S2 will be liberated at, uh, liberated at the uh, electrode at 27 centigrade. So here, uh, equivalent of Cl2 is how much? We have to first find out what is the equivalent of S2 because they are limiting uh, 710 grams. So, equivalent uh, mass of Cl2 is will be your molar mass by 2. So, we can write here M is equal to, so we can write M equal to EIT by 96,500 or M by E. So, this is not, uh, nothing but equal to E into Q by 96,500. So, again, so m by e so m by e will be equal to uh, we can write here m by e into so this, this will be equal to here so right here m so m will be or if you write here m will be uh, 710 and e will be your 71 by 2 okay and uh, q is uh, this is given here so q is not given here so right here q and divided by 96000 500 so if you solve it so here we'll get q is equal to 1.93 into 10 to the power 6 coulomb so this is basically our answer so, uh, we got this one here uh, charge we got that now equivalent of sodium hydroxide equivalent of sodium hydroxide is how much that is equal to equivalent of s plus is discharge this is the second question and second this is equal to equivalent of equivalent of cl2 is formed okay so we can write here equal to cl2 is equal to h plus discharge so we can write here weight of this is equivalent to noh is uh, we can write here weight of naoh is equal to 710 uh, divided by equivalent mass of the sodium hydroxide that is the equivalent mass of cl2 so we this is equal to equal to cl2 cl2 will be your 71 by 2 and this is a multiplied by 40 molar mass of the, this one so we will get here 800 almost 800 gram okay now weight of the hydrogen will be how much so this will be uh, 710 again 71 divided by 2 so we have to equate and again multiplied by 1 so we will get here 20 gram so this is in terms of sodium hydroxide this is this one this is in terms of sodium hydroxide this is in terms of weight of the hydrogen now volume hydrogen will release how much so w r t so divide by molar mass into molar mass into here pressure so here we will get here uh, 20 into 0 0.0821 multiplied by 300 and divide by here 2 into 1 okay so we will get answer here that is 246.3 liter so this is the volume of the hydrogen which released will be 246.3 liter so this is our answer calculate the number of electron lost or gained uh, during the electrolysis of 2 grams cl minus from nacl to give cl2 at anode so in this case we can see here uh, cl minus is uh, losing its converting to cl2 gas the two cl right here two so here how much it will lose electrons so definitely it will lose electrons two electrons so we can say we can write here uh, two moles of cl minus is uh, losing how much electrons so losing here uh, losing and we are two moles of electrons we can write here two moles of electrons so two moles means um, two into thirty five point five gram of cl so it will be losing two into uh, Avogadro number of electrons okay Avogadro number of electrons so now we have weight is given so here we have a two grams so we can write here two grams of cl minus will lose two into six point zero two three into ten power twenty three 
and divide by 2 into 35.5 and multiplied by 2. So on solving we will get here 3.39 into 10 to the power 22 electrons. So this much electrons will be uh, lost by chlor uh, chloride ions to give Cl2 gas at anode.